Well, Ulysses, you know we're inching closer to the baseball season when the Rays and other organizations have announced and introduced their themed nights for the 2024 campaign. Yes, they have, and we're incredibly excited about this because there's a lot of new stuff that we got to dive deep. So let's get started right now. You are Locked On Rays, your daily Tampa Bay Rays podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello, my name is Kevin Weiss. I'm Ulysses Sombrano. And we are the host of the Locked On Rays podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Thank you for making us your very first listen every day. Be sure to check out and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Locked On Rays. You can also find us on X and Instagram at Locked On Rays and email us anytime, LockedOnRays at gmail.com. Well, the Rays have a bevy of games with cultural and identity themes. Ulysses, do you know how many of these notable days and dates there are, be it awareness, day, game, heritage, so on and so forth? I'm going to guess 15, 20. That sounds about right. I have not counted them, but there okay. are a lot of them. <laughs> there, are a, there are a lot of bullet points and I'm going to run through them okay. to uh, illuminate the audience here. Uh, this should be an order from mid April all the way to late September. And I believe some dates, I'm not going to give you the date as well. You can go up and look that for yourself, but just going to run through them all but some some dates have multiple activities going on for example april 13th has uh autism awareness and greek heritage so uh april 12th pickleball then gonna go on down the line autism awareness greek heritage dog day big fan of that one jackie robinson day aapi heritage which i think is uh, asian american pacific islander i'm good uh healthcare appreciation Star Wars, Salute to Veterans, Pride, Scouts Day, Italian Heritage, Black Legacy Game, Crew, which I imagine has a uh, nod or homage to the Buccaneers, Irish Heritage, Ulysses' favorite, Venezuelan Heritage, Dominican Heritage, Mexican Heritage, Margaritaville, FSU, Law Enforcement Appreciation, Colombian Heritage, University of Florida, Florida A&M University, Disability Pride, Cuban Heritage, Country, I don't know if that's country music or people from the country, maybe both, uh, USF, Jewish Community, Panamanian Heritage, Puerto Rican Heritage, Christian Faith, Zoo Tampa, Harry Potter, St. Pete College, Roberto Clemente Day, University of Tampa, and first responders closing out on september 22nd so there's a lot going on i think this is fantastic that is so cool they try to be as inclusive as possible uh that is incredibly um you know just what a feat robust. it's robust like i don't think I, I don't want to hear anybody say, well, what about, I mean, how many more, how much more can you pack into 81 home games? Like they did a fantastic job. So first of all, congratulations to the marketing department uh, to for having come up with these ideas. Uh, the brain uh, trust there uh, did a really good job with all of these. Uh, I don't want two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, so that's 25 plus another one, two, three, four, plus four, man, that's a, it's like 40. They got a, yeah, there's a lot. That's it's basically half, half of the home one, game every other home. home game. That's pretty incredible. So, that's pretty incredible. Yeah. No, good for them. Good for them for having done this. Um, you mentioned one of them that I'm, I'm very excited about, of course, and people that like this video and that subscribe to the channel of course know that too but kevin i before you hear my other two options for yeah. my podium of favorite three i want to hear yours first yo your podium what are the the three top theme nights 
that you are most interested in attending? Oh, that's a good point. Um, I Top will three. get to those. I will get to those. But first, Ulysses, we have to tell the audience about something important here. Yes, we do. Are you tired of data disasters and looking for a reliable solution without breaking the back? Of course you have. You live in 2024. Well, guess what? Backblaze has your back. And here are five reasons why you need Backblaze in your life. Number one, unlimited cloud backup for Macs, PCs, and businesses, all for just $99 a year. You can easily protect your business data with a centrally managed administration. No more hassles managing security across different devices. Also, you can access your backup data from anywhere using our web app or iOS and Android apps. Your data, your way, wherever you go. You also, hey, I need a physical copy of my data. Hey, you can try restore by mail and you can get a hard drive shipped to your door. And if you send it back within 30 days, you get a full refund. That's pretty cool. And lastly, you can join over 55 billion files restored of satisfied customers. It has been recommended by the New York Times, uh, Magazine, Macworld, PC World, LifeWire, Wire, Tom's Guide, 9 to 5, Mac, and much much more backblaze is trusted by the best and recommended for you. So if you're ready to secure your data, visit backblaze.com slash locked on MLB. Don't forget to let them know that you came from us. Start your risk free trial today. Backblaze because your data deserves the best. I hear that the Rays are going to have a backblaze day. <laughs> Not sure which date it will be yet, but. It's uh, it's pinned in there someplace. Yeah. Um, yeah. You had mentioned uh, my podium. Yeah. I don't know if it's necessarily in a particular order. I know that you have a numero uno, and then after that, it's it's the scraps. But I will say dog day. Very okay. excited about that one. Bringing one, two, maybe three dogs to oh that uh, event and celebration. Um, USF day. Okay. See some uh, fellow alumni there and maybe get, uh, I think they usually do a Tampa Bay Rays USF themed hat with yep. the color coordination of the university and so forth. So might check that one out. And then I'm kind of vacillating on a couple of them. Uh, I would like to see what they do in partnership with the Buccaneers on crew day on June 29th, but uh, Zoo Tampa Day, that's got me pumped up a little bit. They better bring in some exotic animals into the rotunda Ooh. or just outside the stadium. I better see a giraffe or something. I'm not talking Dude. Tyler Glass now. Dude, I, I want to see some some animals I can pet, some animals from the wild that are brought into the trough. That's all I'm asking for and saying. That's exactly the first animal I was thinking. Like, what about a giraffe in center field? Do like, it. That would be so cool. Just that's so yeah, Zoo Tampa. That's a fantastic option uh, for the crew, which will be on June 29th. I saw the hat, and the hat is in race colors, but it has like a buccaneer uh, ah, on the front as a logo. Like it's a very very buccaneer. cool. Yeah, so that's awesome. I'm glad that they do that uh, partnership between the Tampa Bay teams. Now, I would ask the people that are really into hockey, Lightning fans that also listen to us, and so oh, where's their Lightning Day? Where's their Rowdies Day? Buccaneers game, Buccaneers fans, do they do this at Raymond James? Do like race type giveaways, race type links, or do well, they do that with the hockey team and Lightning? Like, hey, I let's think do some the, race. The stuff. Lightning might to some extent. I don't recall the Buccaneers doing that because there's only eight, nine home games, so they don't really have a need to like Pump try to weasel more. in some more attendance with some not saying it's a gimmick, but uh, really going it's a game. more with some of these. Yeah, so it's just like, no, there's a, a game on Sunday against the Jets. Either show up or not. We're not doing a Panaman Panamanian Heritage Night. Sorry. BT dubs, parentheses. People that hate football are not are going to tune it, are going to tune out for the next 10 seconds. But I just found out that the Mets are the Jets of football. Or rather, I just found out that the Jets were the Mets in football. I don't follow. You're talking the about la like the, the laughing stock. Oh, of yeah, WWE. yeah. How they 
that has n- that hasn't won in forever. They have a rabid fan base or just a long suffering fan base, essentially. Exactly. And it rhymes. Mets and Jets. Look at that. Look at that. I yeah. know. I thought that too. Okay. Enough of football talk. Um, I, I like that podium. I like that podium. Mine, mine actually has one of yours, of course, USF alumni uh, on August 10th. Might take my dad for that one. It's his birthday, August 10th. There we go. I might do that. That's a great birthday gift. Here you go, dad. Um, Venezuelan Heritage Heritage Night, July 9th. What do they do for that outside of giving you a hat? Is there any cuisine? Is there any other cultural well, accents? Or... Our our buddy Austin Holloway, who we're going to see on Fan Fest, and who we hope is not the only person that's going to talk some ball with us on Fan Fest, uh-huh. come around, say hi, talk ball, give us a, a name that war. Why why don't you some trivia? Um, he was the one that uh, sent me the screenshot of the Venezuelan Heritage Night. It's not a hat, bro. It's a oh. damn jersey with the Venezuelan flag colors, but it's a raised jersey, like. I need this puppy. Like I, cool. I need this as much as I breathe. If you go on on the website, you can see the little mock up they have for the jersey. I gotta have it. Just nice. have to. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Venezuelan heritage, um, USF day, and then there's a number three. Correct. My number three. You know this. I am a big, big Harry Potter fan. Huge Harry Potter fan. It's August thirty first which is kind of a shame because Harry's birthday is July 31st. But mm. I noticed that July 31st, looking at my calendar here, is a Wednesday. So August 31st, in fact, is a Saturday. So they just were like, nah, let's let's put this on a Saturday. And I looked up, what are they giving for a ha- Harry Potter uh, night? I was like thinking like a raised themed wand. And maybe think like wand, a- glasses. Nope. None of those. I'll give you one more try. Something involving potions. Close. Very close. It's a stein. S-T-E-I-N. Do you know what a stein is, Kevin? (laughs) No idea. I would have thought it was another name for a wand, but clearly (laughs) I'm incorrect. I had to Google this. A stein apparently is a vessel that usually uh, holds beer. Oh, that's perfect. So, like butterbeer, they they made like a stein. So, I'm really interested in what this stein that you're going to give out to fans that buy the special ticket package. Like, how fancy is it? How well yeah. uh, crafted it is? Like, I'm I'm really thinking like this would be interesting. So, pair that with your Ryan Stanek bottle opener, and you're in business. Let's go, man. Who has a Ryan Stanek bottle opener giveaway? If you do, I want to hear it in the comments. Bring it to Fan Fest because they're looking for crap to give away. (laughs) They're whatever the yard sale. Yard yard sale. sale. Yeah. 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 Talk to Stu. Be like, hey, I have a a bottle opener. Ryan Stanek's head. We'll sell it for $38. There you go. MSRP. Um, There. So we have ran the gamut more or less on the theme dates, but. I do think the Rays may have missed an opportunity or two or made an oversight okay. in comparison to what some other organizations are doing or have done or based on their existing theme nights where, well, you included this group, but what about this group? I just want to throw it out there of uh, maybe some possibilities that uh, they could uh, incorporate for future years or rotate around the clock at some point and maybe some of this uh some of these themes will be enveloped uh with these other nights but just want to mention that but first we have to tell the audience something very important and that is this get buckets with your first bet on FanDuel America's number one sports book because right now new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 bet that's 150 bucks if your team wins uh so bet on all your favorite NBA players and teams with quick bets, live same game parlays, exclusive props, and so, so, so much more. I mean, it is just an encyclopedia of bets and opportunities and ways to win, uh, to win money. So go ahead, visit fanduel.com slash lockdown, L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N, 
and shoot your shot today. I'll repeat it again. FanDuel.com slash locked on L O C K E D O N is the place to go. FanDuel, official sportsbook partner of the National Basketball Association. I'm very right, interested. So, yes. I'm very interested in in which where do you think they missed the mark? Okay. And based on what I've researched from other organizations, and maybe this is something that the Rays have done in the past, and perhaps they just didn't have enough bandwidth or enough dates to, to squeeze these in. Um, Mental Health Awareness Day, perhaps? Ooh, good one. Uh, some sort of cancer awareness or fundraiser? I didn't see that anywhere, necessarily. Okay. Um, uh, maybe incorporating another, like, we know what some other cities are known for, and we know what St. Petersburg and Tampa Bay is known for. So maybe a, a beach night, beach day theme. Okay. Maybe a senior citizen's <laughs> okay. appreciation night. Um, and then... I found this kind of interesting. Uh -huh. Detroit does have a very large Muslim population, mm -hmm. and they have uh, Arab American Appreciation Night. So I wonder if they're going to get any pushback. The Rays will for doing uh, Christian Jewish, but leaving out Muslim Arab. But maybe it's they just do a whole demographic check and kind of look up, you know, what is our fan base made of and what do they right. care about and this is where you include uh one group versus the other you know maybe in the midwest you you get that uh german heritage night right like right. i mean if, with the race with the race you you only have a uh, italian and irish it's not or you know eastern Bloc. there's not you know at some point you got to draw the line well yeah <laughs> you can't you, can, you, you can't have heritage day for like everything yeah. every day like i mean again, i know it'd be an, it'd be insane yeah maybe it's it would be great it, every night would be something immigrant like, appreciation oh. night that's everybody just like know? everybody just we appreciate yeah. the heck out of you for the whatever else that yeah. you are look i get it i think of course like you said i think they, they do they have the numbers and the demographics and they probably go like oh we have yeah. only we have uh yeah we have three muslim, muslim fans we're not Dedicated Where they have like 20, whatever it is, like you know, it's like, oh man, that doesn't really make sense. Uh, but I from all of those, yeah, I out of all those, what would you say? Okay, that you missed the you're, ball. You're the marketing PR CEO, yeah, for the Rays. We've got room for one more night, or we gotta take an existing night, throw it off the docket, and yeah. put one of the ones I just listed, unless you think of one off the top of your dome that you want to incorporate. From from the one that you said, um, I, I think I think mental health awareness would probably yeah. be the one that I'm like, oh man, like knowing the rays, um, it, it seems kind of odd that they would not have had one, you know, because like um, it, it seems oh, yeah, like they're like always still so public, and some of the players have been between the Austin Meadows and the Ryan Sheriffs and the Ryan Thompsons and. I mean, they've kind of been on the forefront of talking about it as well. Now, maybe well, that's uh, maybe the I mean, does baseball are they going to have uh, maybe that's a major league baseball league wide thing? Will they have a mental health? Maybe it's a, it's a it's a whole thing, but uh, I, I I I am I am kind of um, uh, Gene. Didn't Gene Romero? I, I I hope I'm getting his name right. Gene Romero, remember? Oh um, yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking about. The bullpen catcher. I think Correct. it's Romero. Check me on 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 the on the on the on the last name. I think it is Gene Romero. Um, that that would that's so tied into the Rays that I would have thought mental health awareness would have yeah would have made a part of that. Um, did you? Am I right on on the name? Uh, I honestly, what I was check, I was checking something differently. I was checking whether MLB is going to have like a league wide, this is mental health awareness day. Cause wasn't there something with a green ribbon? I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking out. Of my yeah, mind. I think so. I think it's during May. Then, right? uh, I mean, they do have the breast cancer awareness 
I mean, I don't know. Um, Sorry, Gene Ramirez. Gene Ramirez. Okay. Yeah. So, but I, I think the I would think the Rays could even do you know something. Yeah, more. More locally, I I don't know. No, I, again, like if, if you if you have to add one of these. I think it would have been mental health awareness day because of the whole Gene Ramirez situation that happened, I think, a couple years ago. Um, they are, they were very tied into it, and um, I would have thought that they they would have done that. But I think you have a point there with the green uh, ribbon. I think they do that in May, so maybe that's like a whole month long, so you don't actually have to have one day. So to answer your previous question, if I take that one away, I would add one myself, and it's a little bit more fun. So let's okay. go back to fun. Um, I would have added a Marvel night. Yeah, there we go. Heroes night, like you know, like a Marvel yeah. DC type comics. Um, I think people that are really into baseball, uh, you have a Venn diagram that matches up really nicely with people. There that is crossover there. Yeah, I see. I mean, not necessarily Star Wars, but Marvel, Star Wars, that angle. I see a lot of people in those types of shirts, a lot of dad bod type dudes walking around drinking beer, watching the ball game with their son. Nothing wrong with that. That's great. But no, there's there's definitely a correlation for sure. Now, I may have had an oversight here. This is according to the so I was looking at the the Rays website in these theme nights. But according to Topkins article, I guess there is a childhood cancer awareness day on September 1st. So. There okay. is uh, something with that. Um, now, I will say this. I have not yet mentioned this, but um, I also don't see anything, again, unless I made an, another oversight, of teacher appreciation, educator appreciation. Ooh. And maybe that's just something that they just haven't publicly set. Maybe they want to do a greater ta-da with that. Um, but I, I did agree. not see that in the initial... Uh, reading here yeah i i you're right because i think i think yeah teachers should should get a day here i mean law enforcement appreciation there's nothing wrong with teachers appreciation day either like so um yeah i think i think that may hopefully it comes but uh yeah, they've got again a yeah. ton a ton of not because yeah they have uh first responders they have law enforcement appreciation day uh, they don't have a uh, yeah. healthcare appreciation day. They don't salute to veterans, but no teachers. Yeah. Day. They got, they got like multiple. Well, yeah. Cause first responders and law enforcement. I mean, that's almost kind of one that's of the same, the same you, thing. Could, you could swap one of them. So yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe they doubled down on a couple of these. They you know what? Done like, a, I, I would have, look, personally thinking, I mean, it, to squeeze more out of this, you do uh, just one big Hispanic Heritage Night, and then that's that's where you can throw in the, the education and the cancer and the uh, whatever else. Yeah, but like, I mean, there's a ton of heritage here. Like, holy crap. One, two, three, four, five six seven they leaned into eight, the heritage eight people because they know people like it people know they're yeah. going to go they they get they got us so um yeah i'm i'm kind of let down about the teachers thing honestly you're right um, yeah i was just thinking hey they, they need to call you know me what? It's like call everything up. in life it's like everything in life teachers always always get uh the the, the short end shafted of yeah they basically you know they work nine months out of the year and get a bunch of vacation time but yeah but they don't get paid bleep I I would love to. Uh, this is the different discussion. <laughs> there are opportunities. Look, as somebody who yeah. has um, been with people that work in education, you can find a way to uh, make ends meet. There are a lot of opportunities making oh. uh, you know three hundred dollar pro three hundred dollars proctor and a test on a Saturday. I'm not going to go into it. I'll just say that. The teachers uh, uh, that are a fan of Locked on Rays are going to go yeah. crazy on the YouTube comments. Look, on I, I am anti-teachers union right now. <laughs> um, no, regardless, uh, I think overall they did a good job, but maybe there yeah. was uh, an really oversight good job. or two uh, or three. I will say this. Uh, 
before we get into baseball trivia and name that war, uh, the Rays shouldn't have an issue with uh, selling out or getting good attendance on Friday home games because they are bringing back the much popular Randy Land seating area, even raising the prices uh, by a notable amount um, from forty-nine to fifty-six dollars, and uh, for some of the premium games, i.e., against the Yankees, uh, the uh, the cost uh, skyrockets even further. But uh, no brainer to bring that back. I'll just be curious that when, not if, but when Randy is gone. Do they dedicate that to somebody else? Is it, uh, you know, no. Perez porch? No. Okay. No, that's gone. It, it's Randy. La- Randy is the dude. And then you got to find another guy that has as much charisma and punch as him. To- and you, and you will be very, uh, hard pressed to find another guy with that much, uh, charisma. No, once Randy land, once Randy's gone, that is, that is yeah. back to being whatever it is now. Mm-hmm. $56. Matches his jersey. That's neat. Um, his jersey number. Uh, they in, improved it by having another uh, section. It was first 141, then 141 and 143. Could that be uh, increased if uh, ticket sales are really good, which they so were make, last make year? Make the entire left field area Randy Land. Why I mean, it not? is a hopping spot. Why not? I mean, I I mean, my favorite spot to go, even before Randy Land was a thing, is left field. You get the jumbotron in front of you. You get a good uh, view of the field. Um, so no, I think that's that's fantastic. Hopefully, it goes well enough that they can expand it even further. Lau's launching pad, Lau's lounge, Lau's loge. I don't know. I don't know. Brady's perch. I have a porch is nice, but that would be like the TBT deck for his yeah. home runs. Yeah. Well, it works out so well because, I mean, Randy's right there and he's waving yeah. and interacting with fans. I was just thinking Paredes is a guy because he had so many home runs yeah. to left field, but, you know, he's not playing left field. So right. that kind of makes it a little bit different. But you also have to have the personality to boot. And I know Paredes is more um, of a low key dude, even though he has the. The John Cena, you can't see me thing, but yeah. uh, enjoy it while it lasts. I'll just throw that out there. Uh, all right, baseball trivia, name that war. Ulysses, I have baseball trivia for you. Is that correct? I That is not correct. I have trivia for you, Kevin. All right, give me some baseball trivia because I will have a name that war for you. So with spring training starting up, Grapefruit League is going to have some action, man. And of the 15 teams that play in the Grapefruit League, can you name at least 10 teams in the Grapefruit League with the location of where they play in Florida? And yes, yes, the Rays in Port Charlotte are not included in set 10 go the Rays are not included in set 10 okay um the yankees play in tampa correct uh the blue jays play in dunedin that is correct oh i'm gonna kill this game (laughs) uh tigers in lakeland correct um Pirates in Bradenton. Pirates in Bradenton. That is correct. Orioles in Sarasota. Baltimore Orioles in Sarasota is correct. You've got five. Phillies in Clearwater. Phillies in Clearwater is correct. I said Orioles in Sarasota already, didn't I? You did. Okay. Um... The Washington Nationals in West Palm Beach. That is correct. The St. Louis Cardinals in West Palm Beach. Strike Flash Jupiter. Jupiter. Okay. Cardinals, Jupiter. Yes, correct. Okay. 
but you have a strike. All right, that's fair. Marlins and Jupiter. Miami Marlins are in Jupiter. Oof. You've got nine. I've got nine right now. Oh, maybe it is a little bit harder than I thought. Oh, I haven't said the Braves yet, have I? You have not said the Atlanta Braves. The Braves play in Northport. That is correct. Very good. For those Heck, that... I can even go further. Uh, go. Red Sox in Fort Myers. Yes. Twins in Fort Myers. Yes. Um, if you name the other teams, I can tell you where they are. Houston Astros. West Palm Beach. Correct. Did you get them all? No. Where are the Mets? The Mets are in Port St. Lucie. Very good. You got them all. I yeah, study spring two, training. Three, I do it. Ah, oh, uh, except wait, wait, for the yeah, Rays, unfortunately. Well, we, it's, I mean, this is the first year that, in a long time, the Rays are going to be exclusively in Port Charlotte, assuming there's no uh, hurricanes in February, March. Because um, last couple of years, they've been all over the place. But sure. all right, there we go. Um, funny that you mentioned spring training because my – Name that war question is uh, somewhat tethered to that. Uh, the Rays' first game in spring training is against the Atlanta Braves, if I recall. Uh, so I wanted to pick a player in Braves lore. Uh, don't okay. think he played a bunch of years in a Braves uniform, but did play a couple. And why not? Let's throw it out there. Michael Bourne, what is his career war? Mr. Center Fielder. Also an Astros legend before they moved to the American League. Boy, he was good. He was a really, really good player. He was fun. He was fun to watch, man. Michael Bourne. He was like... And look, this is no disrespect to this other player, but he was just like a notch better. Denard Span. Mm, yes, that's fair. Like a notch better. <sighs> Michael Bourne, really fast, contact hitter. Good defense. How long did he play? Let's go with a good 10 years. Let's say that he had a peak of a four war season twice. So that's eight war. You've got eight years left. Let's say with one war each. So that's eight plus eight. That's 16. But let's give him a bump just because. 19. Let's go with 19 war for Mr. Michael Bourne. All right. Michael Bourne played 11 years in the bigs, four with the Astros, three with. The Guardians, Indian slash Guardians. Three with the Braves, two with the Phillies, one with the Diamondbacks, one with the Orioles. In his career, he racked up two All-Star bursts, two-time Gold Glover, and a Defensive Player of the Year as well. Um, over the course of his career, he stole 341 bags, including uh, league-leading 61-52 in 61 and three consecutive seasons with Houston uh, back in the late 2000s, 9, 10, 11. Um, he had 191 doubles, 69 triples, 36 homers. And I'll uh, leave it at that. Uh, 266 career batting average, 1,272 hits in his career. Bottle all that up, and Michael Bourne has a career war of 22.8. Okay, okay, not bad. okay, not bad. 19, 22, I'll take that as a dub. Very I'll good. Take that nice. All right, uh, hit it up in the comments. What uh, themed Herod, Heritage Day night celebration event festivity uh, did the Rays need to include that they did not include? And which one do you plan to really uh, bottle up and want to go to? We want to hear that in the comments. Let us know. Uh, in the meantime, check us out at FanFest. 
Yes. We'll be there uh, Saturday. Do you, do you guys want a little something? Well, come talk to us and you'll get a little treat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. We'll sell you a uh, Ryan Stanek bobblehead for $37, not $38. <laughs> all right. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay safe. And we will talk to you next week.